Let us now pray the or Ratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Mary Vianney, the patron of all priests. Let us pray in this Mass for all priests, that like St. John Mary Vianney, we may be holy and we may have the zeal for ministry. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, 
Grant, we pray, that through His intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for forty days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all, and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, we ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the man who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, the land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants, and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, By my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land, forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert they shall die to the last man. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. 
they forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, the Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, have you experienced being discouraged because of something that another pe person tells you? Our readings today are about discouraging words discouraging remarks. In our first reading, Moses sent some men to reconnoiter, to survey the land that the Lord promised to give them. And when these men returned to Moses and to the people of Israel, they gave discouraging words, discouraging reports. They said, It is true that the land that the Lord will give us is rich. It is overflowing with milk and honey. But the people occupying the land are fierce. They are strong. They are veritable giants, and we look like grasshoppers before them. We cannot occupy the land because we could not conquer the people there. 
And because of this, the people of Israel cried aloud to God. They were discouraged. Nasiraan sila ng loob. They were crying out to God as if telling God, after journeying in the desert, will everything end up in vain? Masasayang lang ba ang aming paglalakbay at ang aming pag-asa dahil hindi naman pala namin makukuha yung ipinangako mong lupa sa amin. They were discouraged. In our gospel today, a Canaanite woman approached Jesus and requested the healing of her daughter. And the woman received discouraging words from the disciples who told Jesus, Get rid of that woman. O paalisin mo na yung babaeng yan. Nag-iingay lang siya. Susunod-sunod sa atin. And not only from the disciples, the woman also received discouraging words from Jesus himself. Jesus tells her, I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. You are not an Israelite. So, you should not benefit from any blessing that I could give. But the woman persisted. And even if Jesus sarcastically hinted that the woman is like a dog, the woman did not waver. She persevered. And the woman showed us how to deal with discouragement. In, fa in the face of discouragement, we have to persevere. And her perseverance was a manifestation of her faith. And because of her faith, she got what she wanted. Her daughter was healed. This woman teaches us a very important lesson that faith must always pass the test of discouragement. Even if the discouragement comes from God Himself, we have to persevere because our perseverance is the test of faith. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast day of St. John Mary Vianney, the patron of all priests. And if we look at the life of St. John Mary Vianney, he also experienced many discouragements. He, he had difficulties studying for the priesthood when he was assigned as a parish priest, he was sent to a remote and insignificant village called Ars. And according to the priests in his diocese, there is not much love there in Ars. In fact, the parish priest of the town would say, you just stay here with me in the town. You do not need to stay there in ours. You will do nothing there. And so just go there once in a while, but stay here in the town. But John Vianney insisted on staying in ours. And it will be his home for the rest of his life. He did so many good things. He spent his day hearing confessions. And because of the many good works he did, he was discouraged even by the devil himself, trying to stop him from the good things he was doing. But 
John Vianney persevered in ministering to the people, in attending to their needs, in listening to their confessions, in giving them God's blessings. And so John Vianney, as he persevered, also encouraged other people to persevere in their faith. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us be sources of encouragement to one another. Let us avoid discouraging each other. Ang dami-dami ng bagay, ang dami-dami ng nagsasalita, na kapag narinig natin, nadi-discourage tayo, nasisiraan tayo ng loob, nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa. It is our mission as followers of Jesus to be sources of encouragement to one another. Sana tayo yung magbigay ng lakas ng loob sa bawat isa at huwag sirain ang loob ng ating kapwa. Let us persevere in our faith. Let us persevere in the face of the many discouragements around us. Because if we persevere, we will not only get what we want. If we pass the test of discouragement, if we persevere in the faith, if we trust in God, God will surely give us what we deserve. Rarely do we remember our pastors who help us each day in our spiritual needs. On this feast day of St. John Mary Vianney, let us remember them in our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide our pastors in leading the flock to the ways of holiness. May they have the genuine zeal for saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parish pastors may generously serve the church and bear witness to the good news they proclaim. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the lay faithful may collaborate in the various programs and activities of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by their generosity, Christian parents may nurture the religious vocation in their family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our deceased priests and bishops may be made worthy to share in the Master's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, through the intercession of St. John Mary Vianney, Guide and protect our past parish pastors. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 